Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us talk about the first natural resource which is air. Now the first question is what is air made up of? What is air? Now if I ask you what is air, you can definitely I mean, you can definitely answer that what, what air is. So that it is like a gas which is present all around us. But what is that gas? What is it made up of? So air is a mixture of several gases. It is not just one gas, but a mixture of several gases like nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, methane and other gases. So these other gases would mean other some gases which are present in very minute quantity in air. So if you look at the composition of air, you would see that nitrogen is present almost 78% of the air is nitrogen. Remaining 20 point something is oxygen. And the remaining, which is not even 1%, that is argon, carbon dioxide, methane, plus other gases. So if you look at this picture, you can see nitrogen is the blue cube. So most of the part of the air is nitrogen. A good part of the air, however less than nitrogen, is oxygen. Argon is still smaller. Carbon dioxide is very, very small amount. And you see just a point that denotes all the other gases. So you can imagine how minute quant in how minute quantities the other gases are present in air. So what is atmosphere? Now when we talk about air, I mean where is air present? So air is present all around us. Now we often talk about atmosphere which also is like which is also made up of air. So atmosphere is a layer of gases surrounding a planet. So atmosphere is the name given to that part of uh, the gases that is it is the name given to those gases which surrounds the planet for example if you look at the planet earth so earth is surrounded by a blanket of air and that blanket of air is given the name atmosphere why is it called atmosphere sphere that means a, a sphere like a ball so the planet is like a ball roughly like a ball so around that ball you have another layer which surrounds that ball so that that's how the name sphere has come into uh, atmosphere and that's how why we call this atmosphere now this atmosphere plays a very crucial role for a planet so if you compare the atmosphere of these three planets venus earth and mars so when you compare these three planets, what do you see? You see that the major constituent of atmosphere in Venus and Mars is carbon dioxide. So Venus and Mars. So for these two planets, almost 95% to 97% of the atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide. So like majority of the gas which is present in the atmosphere is carbon dioxide. Now in these two planets, life does not exist. Whereas if you look at the atmosphere of the earth, what do we see? In earth, we do have carbon dioxide, but it is present in very small amount. So it has maximum of nitrogen, it has oxygen, and then it has carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is almost around 0.03%. So that much less amount of carbon dioxide is present. Whereas a huge amount of oxygen is present, like 21% of oxygen approximately. And oxygen is very important for different life forms survival. And that is why life exists on Earth. So with this, you can have an idea that atmosphere or the composition of atmosphere plays a crucial role in deciding whether that planet would be able to support life or not. Besides that, atmosphere acts as a blanket which protects the earth from many harmful radiations that might be coming from the outer space, like harmful radiations from the sun or from any other celestial object in the outer space. So the atmosphere is like a blanket for the planet earth. So let us talk about the importance of air. So when, when we talk, okay, now uh, a lot of time you might feel that sometimes I'm talking about air, sometimes I'm talking about atmosphere. So atmosphere is basically also air, but it is that layer of air which surrounds the planet. And when we use the term air, we, we actually refer to the air that is present all around us. 
so these are the two different ways of calling almost the same thing so importance of air it is necessary for survival of plants proper growth and development of plants so if you want you can try this out at your home like you take some like we often keep plants in our terrace garden or in the garden of our house now these plants need sufficient amount of light air water good quality of the soil so that they can grow and flourish now every plant they need food like the way we human beings need food to survive plants also need food but how do plants get food they get, they prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis now for photosynthesis to take place they need carbon dioxide right so carbon dioxide where is carbon dioxide present it is present in the air so they need air again for plants to grow they need a lot of nutrients like nitrogen which is a macronutrient that is nitrogen is needed in huge amounts for plants growth and development and nitrogen is present where it is again present in the air so basically plants need air in fact the it it needs the gases which are present inside the air for its proper growth and survival survival of animals so if you look at animals we all breathe in oxygen why do we breathe in oxygen because we want to respire because for example in human beings we take in oxygen so that we can break down the food to release energy so we say that we need food to survive okay we eat food and then what happens to that food once it enters inside our body the food gets digested and then energy is released from that digested food so in order to release energy from the digested food it needs to be broken down so that oxidation of food takes place only in presence of oxygen and that is what we call as respiration so for animals respiration is a very crucial process if respiration doesn't happen then what will happen the animals will not be able to survive and for respiration you need oxygen oxygen is present in the air so animals need air for their survival control the earth's temperature now as i mentioned before also that earth is the only planet to sustain life why because an appropriate temperature is maintained inside the earth so that uh, living organisms can grow and they can survive so had there been no atmosphere earth would have been either too cold or you know kind of very hot or very fluctuating temperature so basically atmosphere plays a very important role to maintain the temperature of the earth at that appropriate level protection against harmful radiation as i said that atmosphere is like a blanket so if you look at this picture you see all around the earth you have this blanket so what does a blanket do to us for example when the weather is extremely cold it's chilling outside but when you you know cover yourself with a blanket you do not feel the cold so the cold is still there but you do not feel it because the blanket is giving you the protection so in a similar way the atmosphere acts as a blanket for the earth and that is how it doesn't allow harmful radiations to enter inside the earth and this blanket also helps to maintain the right temperature inside the earth Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.